Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going? Dude, loves rip. Crash attack. So it was mid-January and I get a call from my buddy Dylan. He is packing up his new used truck to drive out west. And uh, being a skier on the east coast, I was hankering for some freaking snow. So I called my pal Max and we sealed the deal. We booked a train ticket down to Virginia at 5 a.m., cruised down there early. Dylan was supposed to pick us up in his truck, but classic Dylan fashion, he comes in his friend's car because he's not ready. So we uh, skirt back to Dylan's place, gear up his truck, which was kind of a shit show, not going to lie. Um, but, you know, we slap it together, make it happen. We all jump in there, and uh, we hit the road. We need to do an oil change as soon as we get there. This is crazy. No! 24 hours. <laughs> oh! The Crawford. Yeah. Yo! He's a Crawford boy. We brought the clipboard. We didn't need this. <laughs> you look official. get probably into I think Missouri or something it's like 4 30 in the morning my shift for driving all of a sudden I'm sideways on the highway at 55 miles an hour and uh, yeah that was pretty scary so we pull over quick we're like what the hell's going on people are falling down in the parking lot there's literally a sheet of ice on the road it's insane um, but we push through. It's like, dude, if we don't just keep going, we're gonna get stuck here. So. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, there! Oh! <laughs> I would try and drive it out, maybe. Drive, drive it forward to the right. It'll come around, right? Oh, you stalled her though. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, perfect. Nice, nice. Nice guy. Look at this guy. Look at this dude go. <laughs> we almost hit that forerunner. That's what <laughs> That was a good one. This is way safer. Way safer. Why is no one doing this all the way across America? Should we Boys, what should we do? Should I just pull off to the grass here? No, no. Nah, nah, I think nah. that's what yeah. I, I would hammer it. You got a good line. <laughs> so me and Max convinced Dylan that driving five miles an hour was our best bet. So we picked our way through the carnage, driving in between lanes on the highway in the grass to get grip, and uh, just slowly on the icy roads, seeing some gnarly stuff, uh, until we finally made it to dry roads, which was a absolute blessing. And, uh, you know, about an hour into that, we then realized that the sway bar is missing on the car. And as soon as you get going around 60 miles an hour, it starts rocking left to right, left to right. And the faster you go, it gets nearly uncontrollable. It's pretty Every time with the camera. <laughs> you go crazy. That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bouncy, it's insane. Fish boy back there. No sway bar, no stabilization. Why didn't you put it on? It doesn't come stop. Okay, I honestly kind of like it. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude. Thankfully, the mountains were finally in sight because we were definitely getting on each other's nerves. Why do we always drive on icy roads? Look at this guy, see you later. <laughs> we got in a cheeky little hike up just to get a taste of the snow before the end of the day. <laughs> what? Dude. <laughs> Made it to the zone. And managed to weasel our way into a super discount at the uh, famous largest oh, or dude. deepest hot spring <laughs> hotel. So I can this place was the oh, icing God. on the cake. They have all these natural hot springs to soak in and recover 
and a Lift cold lawn, plunge boys. in the river, it was all time. Oh, Took yeah. advantage, got some rest, and then hit the slopes. Beautiful sun, cruising down the mountain with the boys. It was a sick freaking time. Just shredding our faces off. We had some wildly different conditions. It went from sun, glorious, to cloudy, overcast. Started dumping snow at the end of the day. <laughs> so, so, so. The leader. To do what? To do what? Just look behind you, just get a thumbs up. <laughs> For what? Let me get a break, you know, once in a while. <laughs> Dude, breaks on the list. Boy. Yeah, break. Whoa. <laughs> Rado <laughs> 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 Dylan was getting tired, but me and Max could not stop. We started hearing rumors of these cool areas you could ski at if you hiked up, so we started hiking it, and there was this sweet ridge and all these cool shoots that we were ripping, and then we found the freaking cat. It was unreal, just waiting for us. I didn't realize they had cat skiing here, but I guess they keep it open um, on nice days, and it was a glorious day. They towed us up to some Sick fresh pow. Yo! It was like barely tracking yeah, at all. And we had a freaking blast shredding that. Yeah, boy. See yeah. how? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Should we traverse left now or right? Yeah. It's a pretty cliffed out. That fresh snow hyped us up and we just kept going and going. Finally, the cat operator told us don't come down this way anymore because I'm shutting this operation down. So we made it back to the main slope, but it started snowing and all these tracks are getting filled in. It was getting just as good over there too. We started ducking ropes and just having a freaking blast. fucking tailgater. <laughs> Check out part two where we ski the back country of Colorado and travel out to Arizona to shred some questionable terrain. It's gonna be awesome. See you there. And thanks for watching Beast House Media.